eight. Um, and there are a couple of different sides thrown out. What eventually turned your vote, I guess? Well, I think the majority of council agrees that this is a good development and that the issues related to the environment, um, the air quality, were answered by the province and answered in, in a way that gives comfort in the administration to members of council. It's not a shared view. You'll see there was uh, people in the council who did not support it, but the majority agreed that uh, the law should go forward. With the caveats, uh, does that mean anyone uh, can turn around and sue the city if they develop some kind of health complication from living up in Somerset? I don't see the wording of it, but it, it is really to, to indicate uh, it's caveat up to where it's that um, you, know, you be aware and understand the nature of a caveat, which is a condition upon the purchase of the, of the property. Um, but I'm not a lawyer. Uh, we'll have our solicitor look at that, that wording. To be very clear that this is what is being, um, this is where you are, this is the circumstances of the purchase of the property. And I think it's fair to say that as well that uh, you have a chance when you do the search on the title, which you do when you, when you purchase it, you can be comforted by that or say, I'm not prepared to move forward. So you have a choice as, as, a, as a purchaser to say yes or no to that. So it's like a warning like that. Well, that's one way to look at it, yes. When people see that, do you think it's going to make them uh, less likely to want to actually buy a business? I don't know. Uh, I, I think it, it's, it's information you need to make an informed decision. I'm actually concerned about whether or not there are real health concerns. I mean, if someone, I'm not aware either, but I'm going to venture that if someone actually did develop a chronic respiratory illness, mm -hmm. that you, you know, the city wouldn't be protected because there was a caveat. Well, I, I don't know whether you need a cause and effect as well, because uh, there are other, other communities that are closer to CCR and closer to MS than this development is, and that's not happening. So if it, that's a hypothetical, that can't answer that. Uh, when you have a cause and effect, you can prove that. That's one of the things. Um, again, uh, the purpose of the caveat in general terms, without knowing the wording of it, is to inform, to provide information to the purchaser as to this is what's, what's happening and there, are, you know, there may be some discomfort with the air quality at some point. But that all being said, uh, the province has approved this. The province, the OCP, the amendment approved this. Otherwise, they, they had an issue. They would say no to it. We don't want that. We, we don't approve it. But they, in fact, have approved it. Would you buy a house in Somerset? I'm not, I'm not looking to sell my house. Would you, though, hypothetically live in Somerset? Uh, hypothetically, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't looked at it yet. This, that really isn't the point whether I'd buy one or not. Uh, the question is, 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 and I guess the developer will find out if people want to live there when he, when he begins to build. People don't want to buy it. We'll find out soon enough. Why, why in that location? Are there no other locations? Yeah. Well, th that is obviously designated as residential for years. So there's nothing new in this. In fact, this has been known for many, many years. This is part of, of, uh, of our meeting, our, our immediate growth strategy, 235,000. So this is very much uh, to, be, to be developed now, and it's been known for a number of years. So it's not a surprise, it's something new that came out yesterday. Um, just taking to the OCP as well, which obviously was passed this evening, yeah. um, someone raised the point that does the new Somerset development being so close to the buffer zone up there actually fall foul of the OCP? No. no? Okay. It, it actually it meets both the old and the new uh, official community plans. We mean it's very short. Right? We wouldn't want to propose something to council that actually is on site of the OCP. What is the capacity of the Somerset? The capacity, number of units? Um, no, like the number, yeah, I guess the number of units, but the number of people that would actually live in that community. I guess the number of people. Is it 3,100? There might be a lot no. that, that, that may So when you say that the population is expanding to return to 5,000? That's for the city itself, and that's how we, we determine the, uh, the immediate growth areas versus the longer term growth. So where would the other 30,000 new people be located? Oh, they're in existing communities. Mm -hmm. they're, they're certainly in southwest, northwest. There's only one pocket of that. Okay, and around the small pocket. Right, there's a small pocket, yes. And now you're not surprised that the OCP got biased? And we had this conversation. We talked about that. I thought I made myself very clear that I thought it would go through. So it did. And you're happy? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, it, it's good. It's been a lot of work. Uh, There's a bad joke, sorry. Uh, it's been a lot of work um, for, for many, many, many years. And um, three and a million dollars invested in this. Uh, it, it's good to see that we have a roadmap for the next 25 or 30 years. Good news.
I had a quick question um, unrelated to both of these things. Just for the clarification on whether the snow pad with the guy running into the back of was owned by the city or being contacted by the city. Sorry, Mr. Mayor, I just wanted to ask you about the Somerset project. I already answered all the questions. I got to go soon. Can you just give me a quick synopsis as to why you voted in favor of this? I support it because it, it's a good development. It's very affordable housing for the city. Uh, it's been approved by the province, and we actually uh, uh, to, to uh, have approval for our, our, our district community plan to support it. Um, I, I'm comfortable with the, with, uh, the proposal as it is. Uh, the risk there is no less, maybe less than it would be for our plans or Mackenzie and Beach, which are close to those other developments. I'm um, asking it's a good thing to do. And uh, the majority of council agreed. Uh, I was going to have the unanimity of council. In this case, we have the majority of the assembly board. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh,